Now let's move from the second to the third possible front. That is the West Bank. The West Bank is home to Palestinians. It also includes half of the holy city of Jerusalem, the eastern half. The old city houses some of the most sacred sites for all Abrahamic religions. But one shrine is at the center of the conflict between the Jewish and Muslim people, the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, known to the Jewish people as the Temple Mount. The Hamas attack on Saturday invoked the shrine's name. They call the attack the Al-Aqsa Flood. Today the compound is tense. Israeli security forces have been deployed all around it. Hamas asked for a demonstration here today. It is hoping for chaos. And Israel wants to nip this in the bud. We went to the old city earlier today. Our next report is from Ground Zero in Jerusalem. Today is Friday, the most important day for Muslim prayers. And in Jerusalem lies one of the most important prayer sites, the Al-Aqsa Mosque. It lies in the heart of Jerusalem, one of the holiest cities for all Abrahamic faiths. A city that countless wars have been fought over, one that's no stranger to tension. We're in East Jerusalem overlooking the old city. It's a tense Friday here. I'm sure you can hear the announcements in the background. Uh, Hamas has made an appeal. Uh, it has urged Palestinians uh, in the West Bank and other parts of the country to march up to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and clash with the Israeli forces. And uh, uh, on all roads leading up to the, to the mosque, we've seen barricades at multiple places. Uh, we have seen protests and clashes in the West Bank in the past few days. More than 30 uh, Palestinians are said to have been killed uh, in the action. Uh, uh, that is according to official reports that have come in. Uh, behind me what you see is uh, the, the golden structure that you see is called the Dome of the Rock. Uh, this is uh, uh, an Islamic shrine. It is at the center of the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Uh, or what is called the Temple Mount uh, by the Jews, Temple Mount. Uh, this is uh, the third holiest site in Islam after Mecca and Medina and uh, the holiest site in Judaism. And this is also at the center of the wider Israel-Palestine conflict. Uh, like I said, it's a tense Friday here and the challenge before the Israeli authorities today will be to ensure uh, that the conflict does not escalate in Jerusalem. The Al-Aqsa compound is the third holiest site in Islam. It's said to be the spot where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. The compound contains the Golden Dome of the Rock and the silver-domed Al-Aqsa Mosque itself. They are both located inside the 14-hectare compound. Muslims refer to the compound as Al-Haram Al-Sharif, the Noble Sanctuary. The site is sacred to the Jewish people as well. They believe the compound is where two ancient Jewish temples once stood. These temples were the heart of the Jewish religion, home to their high priest. The temple was raised to the ground in antiquity, the second time by the Romans in 70 BC. But the Temple Mount is still considered the central point of the Jewish religion. So you see why the compound is sacred to both the Muslim and the Jewish people. There is a tenuous agreement regarding the site. Neither the Israelis nor the Palestinians manage it. They have a third party as custodian, the neighboring country of Jordan. Jordan manages the site. As part of the agreement, only Muslim people are allowed to pray there. Most Jewish people pray beneath the site, at the Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall. This is the status quo, and attempts to change it are considered provocations. Hamas and other groups point to such provocations to justify their attacks. They even called Saturday's attack Al-Aqsa Flood. And today, Hamas wanted Palestinians to demonstrate at the compound. But Israel is not having it. It has ramped up security in Jerusalem. The police is patrolling every street. You see armed security officials at every checkpoint. The message is clear. Israel will not allow any trouble at Al-Aqsa today. We are in the old city of Jerusalem at the Jaffa Gate and uh, uh, on any other day, uh, the, the area behind me is packed with people, uh, with tourists, uh, with, uh, uh, with the locals who are here, with shoppers. But today you can only see uh, security officials armed to the teeth, uh, 
and, and the few worshippers who are coming out uh, after Friday prayer. So this is practically deserted and that is the story of all of Jerusalem. It looks like a ghost town. Uh, as we drove uh, up to this place, we saw uh, only security officials and journalists along the way and a lot of barricades. Uh, so it's a tense Friday afternoon uh, for the people of Jerusalem. The Friday prayer is just getting over and uh, security officials have been deployed here in large numbers to ensure that the situation remains under control in the wake of uh, the call for protest that came from Hamas yesterday. Some people have managed to pray within the compound. Others are finding it difficult to get inside because of all the security. They're praying outside the compound instead. Israel's precautions seem to have been necessary. There are reports of clashes outside the old city of Jerusalem. But things were largely kept under control today as they had to be. The last thing Israel needs is another front opening up on the West Bank.